hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is aluk makut aka aluk fit mom um before you get into this video please be sure to click on that subscribe button and join my family hashtag aluk, aluk fit mom and um and and be a part of the family you know we are always always welcoming new members because that's just how we are <laughs> all right you guys um yeah judging from the video i'm sure you guys know exactly what we'll be talking about um I, I feel like i always stumble into things right before it's my bedtime i don't know i need to stop that um i stumble across a video which is all over the news once again and it's about two females two sudanese females that are that have allegedly um lied their way through all like across the borders from victoria all the way to queensland and we all know this pandemic is driving everybody crazy we all just want things to get back to normal we want everybody to do the right thing but that hasn't been the case lately not everybody's doing the right thing because if we were all doing the right thing melbourne wouldn't be dealing with this second wave right now you know we wouldn't but there's bad everywhere we all do there's people ignorant that are just doing their own thing you know that we have anti-mask people we have people that just have their own like everybody's just crazy you know so the reason why i'm doing this is because we've had a lot of people doing breaking the rules the laws you know we had people recording videos at like border checkpoints you know refusing to to wear masks and still recording it claiming that it's their right and if anybody has an issue with it you know that is they can take it to court and um not once have i heard of any of those people that are breaking the coronavirus rules go to jail or be um what's the word uh, like almost facing jail time you know and you all remember that lady that um did that fake news about how um sad sudanese people do not follow the social distancing rules you know how we were still going to churches we were having ramadan parties eat parties and stuff like that you know so the media has been targeting us for a very long like since day one since day one and after that video call me paranoid i don't care but i've just been like yep mate something big's coming something's cooking you know there's just something something's coming and something was coming because we have um so i'm sure we all heard of if black who was arrested and released like that same day for um her viral video about um she refused to wear a mask and she was saying all these things on camera and all the news outlet followed her around and they made a video about it and the difference is when they were broadcasting that report it was just it was like yeah she she made a mistake but we all do it you know but what what's the big deal like yeah there were people like it wasn't there was it was just like any random white girl breaking the rules and getting that slap on the wrist and whatnot you know nothing major came out of it and then when these two um sudanese girls did what they did and i'm not condone condoling Condolencing. I'm not saying what they did was was right. They 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 made a mistake. What they did was stupid, right? Hold yeah. On. So they made the mistake of traveling to Victoria and lying their way around um, the borders, you know. But that that's that that doesn't mean that they deserve to be. On the front page of the biggest news outlet out there being called enemies of the state 
they are being called um border brats you know being called queensland trios who lie their way around the borders so like they don't deserve all of that they don't deserve to have their faces all over the news their names and everything you know because what what benefit like what's the point of that what's the point of that like the health team could have just handled that you know trace their step you know get the information that they need you know behind the scene they don't need to be all over the news why is it that when let's just say a white girl that's the same thing it gets reported differently to when a black person does it you know and i think what kind of prompts me to get on here is is, is not that i'm surprised no because this is what they do you know this is what the media does all the time they are always looking for somebody to throw under the bus somebody to blame you know they're always looking for a scapegoat it was um what was it those hotel security guards that were accused of sleeping with the women that were in isolation security guards, and then it was the families during ramadan and then now it's it's it was it's us you know they're always looking for somebody to blame for this kind of thing so this video is mainly like to our own uh, community that likes to jump on the band bandwagon and always just supporting the media without really knowing exactly what kind of agenda that they have you know yes we can acknowledge that they fucked up they did they shouldn't have done that and if you're gonna lie away if you're gonna lie your way around all the borders and get to your final destination make sure you do the right thing when you do reach your destination and quarantine you know because that's selfish that's wrong you shouldn't be doing that you shouldn't be doing that the least you could have done was quarantine but you chose not to and you went out and about doing your own thing and especially if you're showing symptoms too you know because what harm would it do to you if you just quarantine it's just it's really annoying it's just really really annoying and what you guys as like bloody sassets or sudanese community need to get is like the media they're not your friends you know they are here to tarnish your reputation they are here to make you guys look like the bad guys they are here to use you as an escape goal for every little thing they all they want to do is point fingers and show the world how bad of a community you guys are you guys are the reason why australia is like falling apart because of you that so you guys should just go back to your own country like now they're blaming these two girls for bringing corona back to queensland and Corona was already there. Blaming two people. You know, because of them now, they're shutting down the schools. Because of them now, they're shutting down the shops. Because of them now, you need to shut down aged care homes. Uh, who they Places that they probably haven't even stepped on. You know? Now they're all just being dramatic, blaming them. And just broadcasting it. Everywhere. You all need to understand that that particular editorial was deliberate. Was meant to target those two black girls the community you know because they are not the only people who have lied their way across the borders to get to where they need to be a lot of people have done it and not one person out like made the headline the way that these these um, girls did you know and it shouldn't shock you guys don't be surprised. So my message is to our community. Wake up. You need to wake up.
because what they have in store for us, our kids, it's deadly. Call me paranoid, I don't care. I don't care. You want to call me paranoid? Go for it. But what I'll never do is jump on board and support them. You know, I'll acknowledge that, yes, that shouldn't have happened. That was wrong. You know, yeah, they do deserve to get the fine just like everybody else was. And um, everything else that comes with it. But imagine five years jail time. Five years jail time. And look at how fast they got um charged. Just like that. And in eight weeks, they, they um have to go to court, you know? And the, the saddest thing is like, this was a really stupid, simple mistake, you know? And a lot of people have done it. And to think that five years jail time and these these are young girls 19 year old they're 19 20 20 21 22 you know think about it think about it do y'all really think that they do deserve those five years in jail i don't think they do I don't think they do. I think they do deserve a fine. They got fined four thousand dollars each. Yes. Um and whatever other punishment that comes with it. Consequence, yes. But five years jail time, I think that's just dragged. And the media's not gonna stop bragging about it. Like every single media outlet is talking about this, you know? Because it's a black person. Like, they're just like, damn. We've been waiting for this. You know, we need to back up our CNN lady that was talking about the last time. But it, you know, backfired. So now we need to cut back strong. Make sure that we have the right arguments. Point fingers. Show them that this is exactly what we're talking about. You know? And the saddest thing is, like, we hand them these things on a silver plate. If you all just start doing the right thing right now, you know, stop being dumb. Stop having these little telly haps or little parties, especially here in Victoria. You shouldn't be doing this kind of shit. Why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? You know? All the while, he's just waiting to our just get back to our normal lives. But there's people that are just so ignorant and so selfish that are really not looking at the bigger picture. You know, they're ruining it for everybody. And those people really do need to be dealt with. They need to get, like, face the right consequences, to, you know. But if this news or this coverage didn't wake you up, then I don't know what will. And I'm always going to come on here and just highlight them just so you know that, hey, this is a trend and it's trending. And this is the, the ways of getting the audience, you know, the views, the likes, the shares. This is how they do it, by throwing us under the bus, you know. And the only way we are going to stop this is if we, if we stop giving them exactly what they want. Let's stop giving them that. Let's just stop being stupid, you know. Let's do us a favor and do right by us and see which other corner they're going to come from, you know? Like, I really hope I'm making sense because I'm just, my mind, and the comments under those um, reports are deadly. They're so sad. They're calling them animals, monkeys, apes. Send them back to where they come from, you know? Like, like this. And then when it was the other one, that Eve black girl, they were just like, oh, this sassy little this. Oh, her hat's so fancy. Like, damn. You only need to just stay woke, bro. Just stay woke. And 
don't take anything lightly there's always an agenda there's always an agenda and the only thing that i can ask of you guys is to not fall for it don't fall for it yeah acknowledge that your people messed up they shouldn't have done that but as soon as the situation start being a racial thing you know they started to discriminate against us and be racist towards us and that's when we step back and defend our people because that's what we're meant to be doing you know but i it's just my opinion um so i'm gonna just stop this video here i sorry if i was just grabbing on but i'm not gonna put those females faces up here because i don't think they deserve that i think they've been through enough already and it's horrible like we've just made it so easy for like people to actually hunt them down and you know they're not safe they're not safe and these news coverage like they're not thinking about that they don't care about their safety they don't and if they don't we should this is where we start to like step back and be like okay look at it the pictures are all over the news the names all you gotta do is just bam you know that's somebody's child mate somebody's sister y'all could have went about a different way to report this news if y'all really wanted to report it you know but hey what's done is done all we can do right now is just be better just do better and we need to think of think about our kids bro and this coming generation because we just gotta do better so um to my african community do better you know stand with your people like i keep saying before like you can acknowledge that yeah we fucked up shouldn't have done that that was wrong that was just just stupid but know that they them two are not the only the only one doing that the only reason why is up here right now is because they're black if they were just white it wouldn't be um breaking news yeah, yeah. but anyways um that's it for today if you enjoy this video whoops if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video